Alright fellow YouTubers, this is Dark Poet, and this is my follow-up video to a previous video that I did about the Wii Mod Infinity Trainer. Um, I've downloaded Fallout Shelter, which is the very first game I ever used it with, and basically this video is going to show you how to actually use it. So what we'll do is we'll start up our Infinity Trainer. Now there are a couple of things I want to point out. First of all, here's your list of installed games, which Fallout Shelter shows up. Um, the only way you can use this trainer is, one, the game you want to use it with needs to be installed on your computer. Two, it needs to be in this very long and extensive list of games, if I can ever get it to scroll down. As you can see, it's got Fallout 3, Fallout 4... Fallout New Vegas, the Fallout post-nuclear role-playing game, Far Cry 5, which just came out not too long ago. But yes, yeah, so this is a very extensive list. Extensive list of games. Now, the key to using this, so I'll go ahead and show you. You go, you click on the game that you want to use the trainer on. And as you can see, it gives you everything for the player. Super speed, unlimited health, unlimited caps, unlimited stem packs. And this is actually an extensive list of things you can do. Now, the key to using this is you do not want to start the game prior to having the trainer open. And once you open the trainer, once you have the game selected, which I have Fallout Shelter selected, as you can see, you want to hit play from the trainer, like so, and let it start up your game. Now, I've already created a new vault that has nothing. There's nothing on it. So we're going to enter my new vault. And let it load. Okay, as you can see, I've got nothing, nothing. Looks like I've got 730 caps up here. At least that's what it looks like to me. All right, so I'm not going to use the function keys because it messed up my recording last time when I did a test run. So I'm just gonna alt tab back to the trainer and we're gonna turn on unlimited caps by doing that. And as you can see, we just jumped up to the maximum. 9,999,999 cats. So now you can build. So what we're going to do is do some living quarters. Uh, we're going to do it, I guess, right there. Because you got to have the living quarters in order to bring people in. And I like to, you know, do that. And then I'm going to max out the room. That's fully upgraded. Next, we are going to build a power generator. Right there. And we're going to keep going. We're going to make it a full three-section room. And then we're going to upgrade. Low power supply, but... I'm going to go ahead and build the prerequisite things. We're going to have a diner right there. Keep going. Then we're going to upgrade this room. Low food supply. No! And now we're going to do our water treatment. And it is just giving us a little bit of water as we go. Now we're going to upgrade. Now we have a low water supply. So 
so now we find out this is how I work my characters I'll bring them in P1 A1 oh strength 5 well we know where you're going what about you charisma strength we'll throw you there another S2 P2 get in there we need people working. Yeah, I'll have you work up there. P2, get going. P1, A5. Yeah, you're going up there. S2, you're going down there. Now the higher, see this one requires strength. I'm not sure what the P stands for. A is for agility, so she's got a 2. She's going up there. So now I can do whatever I want with this because I've got unlimited caps. Let me check my stuff, man. Oh, let me claim that. Yeehaw! All right, now, as you can see, we're low on electricity. So down here in the power plant, you have the option to do a rush. And when I click on rush, you'll see there's a 33% chance that failure could happen. So we're gonna switch back to our our friend here, come down to no rush failure, and turn this on here. Now you can use the num number numpad four on your keyboard to turn it on, but I want to avoid messing up my recording, so I'm using the buttons here. <laughs> now, if we go back into the rush, there's no chance of a failure. So let's roll. Yeah, buddy. We maximize production. And this has been... Uh, let's do it again, though, because you're kind of low. Go, buddy! So now we're in good standing on electricity. Yeah, let's scroll back out. I don't want to be in there. Let's go collect whatever I've got. Ooh, a lunchbox. Let's go open the lunchbox. What's in it? Ooh, a giddy up buttercup. Nice, it's junk. 100 caps. Oh, like I really need this. Ooh, a stem pack is helpful. A weapon. It's about time, right? I'm a wasteland doctor. And these are the stats that this will increase. And by, and by how much it'll increase. All right, so next on our list, food, water, power, we can swap right back, turn on max electricity, max food, and max water, alt tab back, and you'll notice they are now filled and they will never drop. That's how the Infinity Trainer works. As long as that, for lack of a better word, cheat is activated, none of these items up here will reduce over time at all, unless you turn them back off. Uh, I think the easiest and quickest way is to use the function keys, but my recording software also uses the same function keys. That's why I'm alt-tabbing back to it and turning it on within the trainer. Oh, look, and I have a new person. What can I do with you? C2, A1, P2, S2. We'll put you down here. They look kind of lonely, those two people. You can also affect their happiness, which is right here. They're like 69%. Let's make them, like, let's see, where is it? Let's make them eternally happy. Da, 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 no, no. Unlimited health. Up, oh, max happiness. Boop. Alt tap back. Now you notice they're always happy. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> but yet, yeah, basically, this is how it works. I have another, um... I actually have a cheat somewhere that will give you 999 lunch boxes. Um, it, but it's not within the trainer but as long as you got certain things like uh, unlimited health you won't die unlimited nuka cola that's a good one because what happens with the nuka cola you actually use those when you send your people out into the wastelands to look for stuff uh, 
if you want to bring them back quickly or send them there quickly, you end up using Nuka Cola. Now, freezing lunch boxes. I don't know what exactly that one does. Not sure. It may not allow you to get any more, but I've never used that one. But I have used the unlimited health and super speed. All of these. No radiation instant level up. Max storage space I've used. And no rat infestation because they'll come up to the ground. Those bad boys are evil. You can't destroy this room because it's connected with two rooms. I'm not trying to destroy it, dude. I'm trying to get off of it. Now, you can also destroy rocks so that you can continue to build deeper into the earth. And as you level up, you'll have access to new rooms. Now, what can this guy do? Well, we're going to send you down to the power plant. Also, notice how this door is. Once he leaves the area, I can upgrade this door. So, Because you'll have raiders that'll come right up to your vault door and they'll gain access. Right now, with the way this is, they'll destroy it quickly. So we're going to increase the health. And now it blacks out for a little bit. Let's collect our food. And the lights have come back on. Now let's... Let's go ahead and do the advanced vault door for 2,000. And the lights go out again. And then they come back on. And I think this is... It's fully upgraded. So, now it'll take a little bit longer for the raiders to come through that door because I've maxed it out. Oh, these people have leveled up. Hello. Well, hi. We got us another one. Yeah, we got a lunchbox. Woohoo! Might as well go open it while I'm here. Clickety clickety. Oh yeah, I gotta click on them. Duh. More caps. Don't need them. Water. Don't need that either. A globe. Yeah, all this junk you can make things with. More caps that I don't need. Hoorah, people. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save and exit on my current game. But now, once you exit the game, it turns everything back off. And when you restart the game from this play button in the trainer... You need to turn everything back on. You can either come in and turn them on from here with a, with a click, or you can use your function buttons. Everything has a hotkey. Just look at the hotkey and use that hotkey. It's a lot quicker that way, and you will get a confirmation noise when you press the function key. It'll be um, like a beep noise that you'll hear in-game to let you know. Plus, depending on which cheat it is, like unlimited caps, You'll see it jump to the max, and it'll never drop while it's on. So, and also keep in mind that the game you need, <coughs> excuse me, has to be in the game list. For it, I'll give you a quick example. Um, uh, Dead Space, where are you? Dead Rising, Dead Space. Okay, I do have this game. It's currently not installed. So when I click on it, it says Game Not Found. And that's because it's not installed. Now, it gives you the fix, which you can click on, and it'll give you two options. The easiest option, because I tried this drag and drop, the icon that, that kind of didn't work right. So what we're going to do is pretend this is a totally different game, since it's not on my machine. But you click on select that folder, and say it was Diablo 3. You would click on the folder, and that's it. Just the folder itself, and then click on pick this game folder, and it will fix the issue. And this will not say game not found anymore. It'll show play, like it does Fallout Shelter. It'll look like that once you've gotten the folder selected. 
If you have any questions, feel free to comment those questions below in the comment section. Um, I'll get back to you. I'll answer your questions. It's a relatively easy trainer. It's pretty much intuitive. I, I caught on to it pretty quick. Um, if you like the content I'm putting out, please hit the subscribe button. Please also hit the bell button so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you do like the content, please give me a like. I'm not here to make money. I just want to put out helpful tutorial videos and my gameplay videos and just share my passion of gaming with everybody. Because you never know, somebody might like that game and say, whoa, I want to get that. And you're welcome. That's all I'm going to say. So you all have a good day. Until the next video. Peace.